What's going on guys, this is Burrs, and here is a spray foam tip for everybody out there doing doors, trim, windows, make sure you listen to this tip right now. Now I came in here and I actually created a little cavity underneath the window so I could do some spray foam. And as you can see, I'm gonna do some cleanup work here with some spackle, but no big deal. This was just uh, insulated at the bottom of the window with spackle, not cool. So anyway, like I said, I broke open a little cavity and I put some spray foam in. First off, if you're doing doors, windows, and trim, make sure you use the right stuff. This is great stuff, window and door. But what I'm using is Loctite. I like the Loctite a little bit better. You can see here, window and door. I put a link down below to this product. I went ahead, put it in here, and then I took a paper towel and I wiped all the way down here so it's nice and smooth. But don't worry, it's going to expand. So it's gonna expand probably three times as much. So be ready for that. Here's what it'll look like. So here's my other window. And as you can see, it's puffed out a little bit. That's okay, because you need the secret tool. So if your insulation looks like this, it's okay. Nothing wrong with that, because your secret tool, the insulation knife, or a nice sharp, thin knife, you're gonna cut it flush, and it's gonna be beautiful. be nice insulation. Don't be like these jackasses at my place. They went ahead and foamed it and then they picked it out with their fingers. Just get a nice sharp knife. You know, I'll put a link down below to all this stuff. There's a uh, Milwaukee insulation knife. This will cut it nice and flush and easy. And uh, you'll have great insulation. So remember that secret tip. Don't spray foam it to the edge. Spray foam it just enough because it's gonna expand about three times as much. And then cut it with your insulation knife for a clean, Excellent installation. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. And until next time, later.